are artist driven, so what we always want is to have on the stage an event that is the passion project. And when you do that, you come up with great works of art. The Red Orchid Theater is having its 25th anniversary in Chicago, and they do phenomenal work. Mike Shannon, you may know of because he's a double Oscar nominee and Tony nominee. It's seemingly about horse racing and all of the shenanigans and corruption around all of that, but it's also a love triangle. The New York Times said it evokes an American society with a divided soul. So I think it makes it a very timely piece, both on a metaphoric level, but also in terms of what the struggle is in the country right now. When I was a teenager and in my 20s, I think I knew the words to every single one of her big songs. I was fortunate to be asked to go to a preview of it in New York when I was on Broadway. I have had very few nights in the theater where I was so happy. I was moved and I was excited and I was on my feet at the end cheering and clapping. And it's a combination of concert and theater and I think it's a perfect piece for the Matthew stage. In the tradition of companies we've brought in, Fiasco and Bedlam, is two actors transforming into 15 plus characters. And the characters are, you know, uh, divided between the haves and the have nots in a little Irish town with a, you know, a, a film company coming in and taking advantage of them, basically. It's very funny, it's very moving. I love watching that kind of skill in an actor, and it's a delight for audiences. Crowns, you know, is one of ours. It happened here and it has gone all over the country. It's one of the most produced plays in the country. It's, in some ways you could call it a, a hip hop and gospel musical, but it really is also a play with music. It centers around a young girl who's sent down south to be with her relatives, and these church women teach her what it's all about. You go out of this production feeling a huge uplift. It's a great privilege to be having Chris Durang's newest play, Turning Off the Morning News, and that's what's ending next season. From the title, their characters can't really bear the news anymore, and it's all about each individual's response to what is going on in the world today, and only Chris Durang could make this hilarious. And of course, it's fitting that after his first Tony Award winner, which was born here, we would be doing his next new play. You have to take big risks in order to have big wins. And that's what this theater is all about. So we're here not just to give people what they think they want, but also open them up to new things that may blow their minds.